Oh, guys, this is an exciting day. Shayun has updated my favorite gimbal of all time, the Crane M3. This is the original, and this is the newly released, as in today, released the Shayun Crane M3S. And it has some improvements over this guy that can make this very attractive for a lot of people, and I'm happy it's here. Of course, a big thanks to Jayun for sending this guy over for review. I have actually been using Jayun gimbals long before I was even doing YouTube reviews. I had their phone gimbal, I had their original Crane gimbal, I have the uh, Crane M3, the M2S, which is a great tiny little lightweight gimbal, I have the uh, Weeble 3, and the Weeble 3 is also being updated today. I will do a video on that one next week. I also have gimbals from other brands. This one is the DJI RS3 Mini, and I will be doing a head-to-head -head comparison with these guys coming up very shortly in a video soon. But I will tell you overall, just like I said in the beginning, this is my favorite gimbal of all time. Well, the original M3, and now the M3. 3S is definitely my favorite new little gimbal because this one, it has stronger motors. It supports more cameras and more lenses. The only problem with the original Crane 3, well, there was more than one problem, but the biggest problem with the Crane M3 was that uh, people were asking me, how much weight does it support? But uh, Jayun doesn't do it like that. What they do is if your camera and the lens can balance on the gimbal, then it can generally hold it. But you have to find out which lens and which camera balances together. And so they have a list of the cameras that are compatible with their compatible lenses. And I will link that down below in the description. And this guy is compatible with a whole lot more cameras and lenses because he is stronger. And another big upgrade for this guy is actually Bluetooth. This now has Bluetooth control with the original Crane M3. You had to buy a separate module that gave you some Bluetooth control. So you'll be able to start and stop your cameras right from the gimbal once you control it. Once again, there's a compatibility list that I will link below, but all of my Sony cameras are compatible with the Bluetooth function. And this one also has many more functions with the cable. The connectivity of the uh, Crane M3, the original one, there wasn't a ton of connectivity with the cameras that I like to use, like my little ZV-E10. It didn't jive with that very well, but this guy, when you connect the USB-C cables to the uh, cameras, you're gonna get a lot more functionality. So a lot of people uh, were holding back on the Crane M3 because they wanted to be able to control their camera from the gimbal. I personally don't do that a lot. I don't like having cables running from my camera to my gimbal. So it's nice to have that start and stop function with the Bluetooth control. However, the cable thing I generally don't do, but if you are one of those cable people and you wanna be able to control things, different things like shutter speed and ISO and things like that, depending on your camera, then uh, you will be able to connect it to this guy right here. And another big one for a lot of people is going to be the quick release plate. You see with the original Crane M3, you have this long quick release plate here, which covers up the bottom of your camera. So you don't have quick access to your battery if you need to swap it out while it's on the gimbal. So you'll actually have to take it off. And uh, if you want to take your camera off your gimbal entirely and get rid uh, of this plate, then um, you have to rebalance it once you put it back on. So there's no way to just keep your gimbal stored, uh, ready to go with, let's say you always use the same camera and lenses for your gimbal, then you'll want it to uh, not have to rebalance it every time. And now you don't have to with the new one. But see with the Crane M3S, you have this quick release base with this quick release plate. So I can just leave this balanced like this and store it away because so let's say I just always use my a7 IV and my 24 millimeter G Master when I'm running on gimbals, then uh, I can just take this plate and just lock it in right here. And even if I take this plate off the camera, I can just leave it balanced like that. So I don't have to rebalance no matter what. It still has all the features that the Crane M3 was famous for. And look at the size of this thing. It's so compact. That's why I like taking it around. It's about 700 grams and it can support some of my full frame cameras and full frame lenses. And uh, it's just great. And it's also good at supporting my smaller cameras, my Sony ZV-E10 or my Sony ZV-E1 that I'm filming on right now, or even those little point and shoots like the ZV-1 or the ZV-1F. See, it, they look fine on this and so do my full frame cameras. It's a very versatile little gimbal. And it also, it still has that light. You know what? Let's go out and test the light now. 
course, what test of a Zhayun gimbal would be complete without turning on the little light out here in pitch darkness? I have the light on right now showing my gorgeous mug and you can uh, actually adjust the color temperature of this light and it also comes with little gels so if you want to make it blue or red or whatever color you'd like but uh, personally I like to stick with what the uh, daylight the tungsten to daylight balanced light you just adjust it to your heart's desire and just let me show you how dark it is without this hold on this is how dark it is in this backyard without the light on. Let's turn it back on. Hmm, check that out. Isn't that nice? I think my hair is sticking up. I fell asleep right after I took a shower and now I just, I can't get the hair back down. I have to take another shower. Anyway, that is not your concern. We're here to talk about the gimbal. I actually just used the light so I could find the patio stairs without killing myself. So even if you're not using the gimbal to film yourself, you have this nice light, it's pretty handy. So right from the touch screen, you see the mode, the balance, the info, the settings, you go right to the settings and do that auto calibration right away. As soon as you get your gimbal balanced, you go right ahead and you auto calibrate and that will really help the gimbal give you a nice smooth experience. And in the modes, we have the pan follow, lock follow, point of view, go, which is just really, really fast. Vortex, which does that Alfred Hitchcock spin and stuff and portrait, which you can help use for vertical video. I just usually leave it in the pan follow mode, but very nice touch screen, very responsive. I like it. A lot of gimbals, it's got a little trigger on the front. You press that twice and the gimbal will just go back to its original set point. And uh, you also press it three times and it goes into point of view mode so you can film your gorgeous face. Press it three more times and then it just goes back. It also has this cool little scroll wheel. I like to leave it in pan follow, but sometimes I want to adjust the roll. So there you go. I can adjust the roll right here with one finger. And it's got a nice little joystick on the back that is quite responsive for manipulating the gimbal. Of course, you can change all the settings in here for the speed you like, the smoothness you like, whatever you want to do, you can do it right from that menu. It has a fully featured app from Zhiyun that you can connect to help control the gimbal, but you can also do it all right from the touch screen, which I like because I don't like having to pull out my phone to try to get some functionality for my gimbal. With this touch screen, you can get to all of the things like your time lapses and your hyperlapses, your vortex mode, whatever you want to do, you can do it straight from the little LCD screen. It's got the fast USB-C charging, so you can get a full charge in about two hours, and then you get about eight hours of runtime with this little gimbal. I hardly ever charge it because, you know, you're doing your gimbal stuff in spurts that eight hours. It lasts me weeks. Check this out. This is the Fiveray M40. It's from Zhiyun as well. It gives a nice soft light, but it's super bright. It's like an aperture MC on steroids, and Zhiyun is just making all these great compact products that make content creation a lot easier because you don't have to take around a lot of bulky things like the X100 that I just reviewed. That's a tiny little 100 watt COB light. They're making great stuff. But I still think their best products are their gimbals like this tiny M2S, which I like to use with my most compact cameras. I'm always using the ZV-E10 and the 11 millimeter uh, Sony 1.8 lens with this guy here. And I use the Crane M3 for as many things as I can because I just really find this a convenient gimbal to take around. But there's always room for improvement, at least in my opinion. And one of the ways I would like to see it improved is that quick release plate. While it's great that it comes off and you don't have to rebalance and it's very quick and easy to take off. I would like to see this be something like an Arca Swiss plate. So uh, that way, if it's Arca Swiss compatible, I can take it off and then put it on a tripod without having to take off the base plate. I would think that would be a better implementation. So Zhiyun, if you're listening, if there's any way for you to do that in the future, I would like that. And this camera doesn't really have a dedicated vertical video mode like their Weeble 3S that is coming out as well today that uh, you can change the arms over and have a dedicated vertical video mode. They also had that on the DJI RS3 Mini. So if you like the TikTok and, and the booty pop, and there is a way to do it on this, you can just go into portrait mode right here, but then you'll have to hold the camera and the uh, actual gimbal itself in a uh, portrait mode and so that you're still holding it you know what i mean it's not the traditional way to hold the uh the gimbal so if you're not in the shot and you're filming someone else no problem now you can attach the tripod to a quarter thread 
that they have right there. So you could hold it differently like this. So a little less strain on your wrists, which is pretty good. Or I suppose you could get a longer tripod and then just attach it there and you could just have it do that itself. But again, I would like to see a way to be able to switch it to have a vertical video mode for those people who like doing whatever vertical video people do. Now in this video, I didn't spend a ton of time going over all of the features because they are very similar to the Crane M3, the original one. So uh, I will link that video for your pleasure. You can watch that. I go really in depth in the actual settings and how to use it. And this one will be very similar, except it has those upgrades that we talked about and that we like very much. Now, if you have the original Crane M3 and it jives with your cameras, then I don't really see a big need to upgrade unless you really want that Bluetooth functionality, you like that quick release plate, and maybe in the future you're thinking about using different cameras and different lenses, but that gimbal is still an absolutely fantastic gimbal. And uh, you know, if it works with your stuff, just keep on using it. So big thanks to Jayun for sending this over for review and for making tweaks based on customers suggestions. It's always nice when companies listen to the consumers, you know, they, they hear our whining and their belly aching. and they're like, fine, fine, we'll give it to you. And then they do. So we appreciate that Jayun. And I appreciate you guys for watching this. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.